Alright everyone, and welcome back to That Variety Nerd. I'm Christina, and today we are jumping back into another base game starter home sort of build thing that I kind of just started doing as like a little bit of a mini appetizer platter to the tiny living pack that's coming out in a couple of days. So I'm really excited for that pack in general. Uh, so as always, get comfy, cozy, and go get your snacks, choice of beverage, etc. And we're going to go in and build a base game starter home. So the reason why, not just because of tiny living, but I saw a bit of a need for some base game starter homes and base game builds in general in the Sims community. And I figured, well, this is good timing. The tiny living pack is going to be coming up. Uh, those builds are going to be using different packs more than likely, uh, just because I want to see how they interact with the different packs and kind of navigating those waters accordingly. So we're going to try some in different worlds and that sort of things. So I'm really excited about that. See how the objects look in areas like city living or island living, stuff like that. I think it'd be a lot of fun to navigate those waters, pun intended. And plus, I want to get some different lots kind of accomplished in my eventual save file. I swear to God, it's going to be a thing. I have a whole spreadsheet checklist thing down in the description down below, so that way you can kind of see how the progress is being made there. It's very on and off, but you know what? We're going to make it work with this new pack coming out, and I'm really excited, and thank God there's not a new world with it, because Lord knows I need a little bit of a break, so that way I can at least start to renovate using these little stuff packs. So I'm really excited about that, uh, and to bring forth some starter homes and tiny builds and that sort of thing, which is going to be quite awesome and exciting. I'm just, I'm excited for this pack. There's no other way around it. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's kind of what I'm thinking at this point. Uh, so if you're wondering why I am talking very quiet, I am recording this at 12.45 p.m. almost on January 15th. Uh, I should be getting up in about less than six hours from now, but I wanted to make sure I had a voiceover recorded and ready to go for just in general, so that way I could hopefully render everything and all that stuff. I'm basically trying to pre-record a little bit through the first week of the semester because I'm kind of on the struggle bus. So there you all have it. So yeah, that's kind of what we're going for right now. We're going to do a tiny living sort of series where we incorporate tiny builds in like the different areas I think even if it's like renovations and stuff like that with different packs so there's going to be a little bit of everything involving the tiny living so we're going to go through uh I want to do review of tiny living in general uh just so that way we can kind of navigate those waters together and that way I can be like yes go get this pack no don't get this pack I don't get any access codes or anything like that so full disclaimer there uh, so it is coming out of my pocket of the very little funds that I do have. But you know what? We're going to make this work. We've always made this work. We're going to do it. And not to mention, this is a pack I'm actually really excited for. The only other stuff pack I actually bought was the Laundry Day pack. So that just shows how very rare I get excited about these stuff packs. So I'm excited for that. Uh, I really like how this house turned out just in general. Uh, as you can see, this one and the next one, especially the next one, the next one's at, like in my top five now of like most downloaded houses off the gallery. So all these builds as always are on the gallery. You can always keep track of where I'm at in my save file. Uh, that My goal for this year is to get the save file done where I just renovate everything. So yeah. There y'all have it. We are getting there slowly but surely through the save file. We're renovating as many worlds and lots as we can. I think we got Glimmerbrook done. We got Wrychester done. We're almost done with a couple of worlds as well. Uh, but I think it'd be a lot of fun to kind of navigate Tiny Living with some of the other uh, starter homes that are in the game or just in general. I think it'd be a lot of fun to kind of go through that. So I have some ideas for what I want to do in terms of builds and renovations, but I'm more than happy to take requests. So if there's anything that you want to see from Tiny Living, please let me know in the comments down below. Are you planning on getting in the pack? Or I should say, are you planning on getting the pack? Are you waiting for it to go on sale? Which is always a good move uh, because stuff packs are never on sale in this game. Uh, so there you all have it. Uh, but yeah. Um, I'm trying to think here. Where was my brain going? It was kind of going somewhere and then it just kind of went off the wagon for a second. But yeah, uh, I'm really excited about the Murphy beds coming back for sure. But I'm just excited to kind of play around with the 100 tiles that we're supposed to get when like the new lot type or whatever. So that's going to be a lot of fun to navigate in general because I feel like that's kind of something that needs to be, well, a thing. Uh, just in general to just have a little bit of a challenge. So 
That's kind of my thinking. That really is. So again, I really like how this build turned out. Uh, especially once again, like I feel like with each build that I do in a row, like I usually record a couple of builds and renovations back to back. I usually see them getting better over time. Maybe because I actually like sit down and watch videos getting built, like or bi videos of getting homes being built, like in The Sims. And so I'm like, okay, I need to figure out like how this works. So <laughs> that's kind of how I do it. Uh, I still suck at roofing. I don't think anybody's gonna be great at roofing, to be honest, because the roofing roofs have always been weird in The Sims. There's no good way to do roofs. There's there just has not been a good way to do roofing at all. But I want to at least give some decent appliances. Oh god, I'm sorry, everybody. And kind of go from there. So I really just wanted it to be cozy and quaint. Again, it's a two bed, one bath. Uh, if you want to turn that other bedroom or one of the bedrooms into like a study or a kid's room or something like that, you can do that. Uh, you can also turn the living room into like more of an office space. But I want to have some hobbies and skills and throughout the place as well. So that's why I got the cheaper beds. So just giving you all an idea there and also fill out the space in the living room more. That was also another goal. So yeah, uh, I think the screenshots make this place look a lot better too, just in general. Uh, I had a hard time trying to figure out what to do with this living room area. The bedrooms I kind of just went sparse with because I wanted more of the focus and as you can see more of the entertainment and activities to happen more in this common area. So that way everybody can kind of just, you know, get together in one spot and kind of hang out and relax. So yeah, that was kind of what I was thinking in general. Uh, if you need to replace anything like a shower and toilet with like a tub and then move over to the toilet, you can do that as well as far as I know. Uh, or if you need to extend the bathroom out, there's obviously plenty of room to play around with the layout, but I wanted to at least have some kind of a shell for a base game build. So that was kind of what I was thinking when I was going through that. Uh, so there's a nice big patio. The stairs actually go down right around to the fishing hole that's in Willow Creek. So just kind of a bit of a little bit of a nice neat little feature as well. This is the bargain build or something like that. The bar It's like the bargain lot. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So yeah, it's exciting. And there we go. So yeah, this is a shorter build, shorter video, but I think that makes sense. I think the next one's even shorter than this one, which makes no sense because I feel like I spent much more time in the next one than in this one. But here we are. We have a little bit of a nice little patio area, which is quite cool. Uh, I'm trying to figure out back here, like, you know, what am I going to do for landscaping and so forth. So I just add a couple of trees some dirt. Just keeping it simple, I think, really helped out quite a bit. So when in doubt, just go simple with your landscaping. I'm not a landscaping expert by any means in The Sims and in real life, but I think less is more sometimes. So yeah, that's kind of where we went. Uh, so here are the screenshots. Again, as always, I really like how this turned out. Uh, just in general, it's very quaint and cute. As always, thank you all so much for tuning in. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff here on YouTube, and go check out everything. Links are in the description down below. I forgot how many screenshots I took very low key. But in general, I really love how this whole place just turned out. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Once again, we're going to be doing one more starter home build before Tiny Living. So get excited about that. And that's pretty much it. So I will see you all later. Bye, everyone.